right here we have our image open inside the Photoshop and what I want to do is add some extra clouds layer maybe a little bit right here on the edges some in the corners just overall touch up and modify a little bit colors have a nice gradients going through on the colors and maybe some flare on in the sun right here so let's go create new layer and first I'm going to use brushes I'm going to use 100% brush we'll just right click and I'm using Ron's brushes you can um, download them and purchase from Daz 3D website so right here I'm going to add some to the side I go to select um, color maybe around this color just add right here a little bit on the corners just add slightly right here on the corner we'll go select maybe different um, color Actually, you know what let's use this one decrease size and I'm going to also use a slider to bring a past Okay, we can also create another layer and you know what let's go select maybe some whispering like this and add right here to the kind of to the back slightly okay we'll go select different ones bring more and mostly what I do it is um, take a different and just apply them okay, let's go switch this to the soft light so it's kind of nicer blend in here same apply the all with this lighting it's going to be very gentle very carefully kind of place it in we don't want overwhelm too much with this okay, so let me select brighter color I'll just add some slightly touch ups right here we can create new layer yeah, I think it will be nice okay let's go add um, yeah, I think this will work as well okay we'll go kind of bring um yeah slightly down with all these clouds okay we can also um go select a little bit different okay I think this will work very well select brighter color and add a little bit more details the overall when you start work with clouds you can actually spend uh, literally very many hours just to modifying I'll just add smooth out some areas just like this to add some effect okay let's say you can apply more and more of this let's go to group them this will be our clouds okay next after this what I want to do it is actually reduce some details like right here I notice it's too many details so I'm control shift alt e create new layer and we're going to filter noise and we're going to dust and scratches you'll notice right here how much it is start losing some details so I'm going to about six we'll click OK and we have it options we can go on a screen which is brightening up or we can go overlay darkener wherever you want it um, I'm just probably just leave it on the normal and I will create new mask control I to remove that mask and we'll use it a normal round brush a white and we'll say to 
10%. And in some cases right here, you just gently start brushing in. I just want to re reduce some of the details, creating almost like distance look on some of these edges. So you can see right here, just overall smooth out some of those details. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and create now color overlay. And uh, to do this, we'll create the curves. And right now, for example, I'm just look on a sky. So I'm going to with the sky and I want to add a little bit purplish kind of look just to this portion. I don't really worry about bottom. I will rework on this same as a middle. So just the top. And you can see I'm just try to readjust, creating something more interesting look to this right here maybe this is about right okay when you're done press ctrl i again for the layer and we'll go same we have the same brush so i'm just going to brush in slightly you can see this coloring right here We can um, also, what I recommend to do after, go blur, using blur, and just pop up. So it will have a nice gradient integration. Next, let's work on this middle level. And the same thing, so you can have it curves, or you can work color. And on this level, I want actually more red right here, kind of sunsetish set. Okay, we'll go right here. Just reduce green. I think this is good. Control I again. And in this case, I'm just brushing in right on the middle. So you can preview. Let's kind of add this little bit reddish color. We can also just add maybe a little bit to the mountain side right here okay so here's our another color and let's create one more maybe for the bottom and here is we can look uh, different colors so let's look if we do with the blue kind of add maybe even cyan blue so let's go to kind of like this maybe Add cyanish look to this. Okay, let me go. I think about this color may be very interesting. So control I and we'll start painting. Our cyan color to this. Oops. Remember right here, I need to go filter, blur on this one, apply. Okay, now at this point, if we group them together, we can preview overall color. You can see how we slightly modified and enhance. Um, next, I want to add a little bit more sharpness to this. Um, and this is kind of will be HDRI type, almost sharpness, so control. Um, we go press Control Shift Alt E. We'll go to Image Adjustment, and we'll go to Black and White. And right here, I'm normal. I'm just looking for overall nice contrast to bring some details out. So right here, green. I think this is a good one. We'll go Image and little bit Image Adjust shadows and right here just a little bit more flattened kind of bring it out so let's go next we'll go to the soft light and we'll 
start adjusting and you can see it's almost like HDRI image if you give it too much but I want just a little bit little bit so it will bring nice contrast to this reduce some haziness but I don't want to remove it okay now let's go add sharpness control shift out e okay and we'll go to overlay this we'll go to filter other high pass and this you can see it's quite a bit with a one point it's add quite the sharpness like right in this area you can see it so I'll just go a little bit up we'll go press and again create new layer and actually this one I want to go inside the filter forge okay and I have a phototone filter forge I'm going to use and I'll just probably use it kind of this one okay just a little bit enhanced colors I don't need that much so I'm just reduce slightly put it in okay let's do next um I want to buy filter as a lens flare for this and the best way to do to create um just blank color also let's go in background yeah we'll use this one and I'm going to um reset black and white and we'll go fill up this layer with actually black color and set to the screen next I'm going to filter and I'm going to use the you know, light factory you can notice right here I have it some filters already and if you saw tutorials I created let me actually kind of a little bit shrink this down so you can preview okay right here and I have a tutorials how I created this so if you're interested you can review but I'm going to use it some of my from tutorial some of the images um, what I want to do is use actually vertical slightly okay probably preview probably this one and I'm going to take this blue stripe increase a little bit softness and drop down position okay I think this is maybe reduce even smaller on a scale and just brightness so not overwhelm um, next I want to create kind of lines for this so we'll do let's go ahead click OK next I want to combine more so I'm going to add new layer same create black set to the screen and we'll go to again to no factory okay and it's problem with no factory is always kind of reset it things but right here I want to create this lines going kind of more vertically okay we can to probably let me see we have it this size yeah I think this one will maybe work even better so I'm just creating let me see brightness just add brightness right here and I think this is stripe good so let me bring right here one stripe And actually, this color maybe it's a uh, let's put it a little bit more on a red kind of color. So it will have this nice effect. Okay, this is my other stripe. And let me bring brightness on this one. Just a little bit shifted, so we'll leave it right there. Maybe just slightly adjust it. And kind of interesting when you start working with these flares, 
to add them. Okay, right here. Let's bring, yeah, I kind of like this one. Let's bring just a little bit under. And overall, it's shifted, so we'll go click OK. And right here you can see we have it a nice um, lens flare kind of lighting apply. Okay, after this we can apply even more, but I think this is good for now. It's have a nice hiding. Um, I want to encapsulate this, so I'm going to create the vignetting around. An easy way if we take a curve, we'll go take all the way down, create selection, Fill this selection with the black. And next we'll go inside the mask for this and take feathering. So you can see how we already start applying. Let's switch to the soft light. And right here you can see we have a very nice gentle vignetting, which is bring more attention to the middle. So overall right here is our image we was creating in Photoshop and again you don't necessarily need to do the steps but it's just interesting to see how you can enhance inside uh, to create something more interesting again you can go and maybe work a little bit more with different filters see how you can apply it but overall here is our image and thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com